Hi guys, so today we are going to show you how to create the perfect contour and I've got Lindsay here, my makeup artist, who knows exactly what she's doing so it's going to look a lot better than mine. So basically for contouring you need lots of different shades because uh, obviously you're creating different shades throughout the face. So I'm just using a few different MAC shades here. I've got NC30, 40, this is NC44 and this does look super dark but like Charlotte is quite tan so I do sometimes mix just a tiny touch of it in. Okay. So we're just doing like the base now. So this is where I start like looking and working out what I'm gonna just match up. I just use a tiny little foundation brush, this is a MAC one, a 193, and then little downward strokes like this. You really want the foundation to match this colour here on the chest because the neck is normally quite a lot paler, so normally what I do is work down onto the neck, otherwise you end up with a pale face, basically. So once I've put the foundation on in strokes, you buff it into the skin and it gives you that really nice, like, gorgeous airbrushed feel. So just carrying on onto the forehead now. It's a big forehead so line. You can, <laughs> you can see it's just... It is kind of like knocking out um, the freckles and any kind of blemishes on the face. Sometimes Charlotte likes to show off her freckles, they're really cute and we'll use something lighter like face and body is really good just to like still be able to see anything underneath the skin. Freckles are sometimes nice to have out. Yeah. How many fingers is your forehead? Oh my god, it's a full on hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? I've got to turn her, that is so embarrassing. So this is my base foundation done. Um, I can't quite see it yet because there's not a mirror, but I'm, I know it's going to look good. So basically, contouring is something that's been happening for years. It means just bringing out the shadows that are already on your face. So you want to keep this area here lighter and under the eyes, and then you go in and darken under, through um, into the hollow of the skin, like with the cheekbones, yeah. the sides of the nose, around the forehead, and you can do it under the jaw as well just to sharpen up the jawline. Um, so basically what I'm going to start with is my favourite concealers ever, they're really good for contouring. NC30 and I've got NC20 because you want to go a bit lighter under the eyes than you would for the rest of the skin. And they are MAC Pro Longwear. Right, all the way under the eye. So this is when you can really tidy up and make the eye look really quite extreme if you want to. And tidy up any of the shadow and just get a really lovely strong look. So now I'm just buffing it through. I always use a little um, shadow brush to buff out. I don't use like my big foundation buffer because you just want to be able to distress the lines really but I still to try to keep the coverage there. Contour is my favourite thing ever because it makes your cheekbones pop out and you just look so much like the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone wants to look like the Kardashians. Literally everyone does. It's like the new in thing. It's so on trend. Especially like Kylie, I feel oh, it's become Kylie's such, the best one. Yeah. And then you'll set that with a powder as well. So this is the um, powder that I'm using. This is min mineralizer and this is light. So this is going to go under the eyes. And then I got a darker one here. These these two are darker ones, and they're gonna go, go around the um, darker areas on the face. Now, when you're picking your darker shades, and they don't have to be these MAC ones that I'm using, but just make sure that they're quite warm. You don't want something that's too flat and muddy looking, and it doesn't have any sparkle in it, because no one wants a big sparkly face. So you can really see it's coming on, just building up. I'm using this little Real Techniques brush, um, which is called a setting brush, but I love it for contouring. A little bit on the end of the nose, and then just down the sides. That just helps to slim things. Not that I'm saying your nose needs slimming, but pretty much everyone wants their nose yeah. slimmer. I love Becca for highlighter. This is Moonstone, and it's so beautiful. You just need the tiniest touch, though. And then this just comes on here, underneath the eye. Beautiful, tiny touch on the middle of the nose. You don't want to put highlighter on the middle of the face where we, we lightened it with foundation, but you just want to spring it out under the eyes to really illuminate the skin. Make it all pop. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. So that's it guys, I look absolutely lush now, contour is all done. If for more professional makeup tips, you can subscribe to Lindsay's YouTube account, which is on the link below, and don't forget to like this one, comment, and subscribe to mine while you're at it. Love yous, bye! Right, that cherub is really freaking us out now. 
I just feel like he would definitely be called Eugene. I'm using the lip brush and I'm cleaning it with my own saliva from my mouth. That is disgusting. 